Frieza is the evil tyrant who destroyed planet Vegeta. He's so powerful that he just glides around in his stupid little hovercraft. His power level was around 530,000. Really high up on himself. So how strong is 530,000 in the grand scheme of things? Oh, uh, who the heck knows? Frieza turned into this brutish thing after Vegeta coaxed it out of him. Krillin got impaled on one of his horns. Gohan told me it was gruesome to watch. My little angel Gohan battled a monster like this? I knew I shouldn't have let him go to planet Namek. Ugh! Now he's got this elongated skull. Disgusting! Honestly, I think he looked stronger before. You think this stretched out head was intentional? Or was that just part of the transformation without him knowing? I'd rather not put myself in Frieza's mind. This is what he looks like most often these days. You know what? He kind of looks better without the horns. He's got a nightmarish aura about him. This is when Frieza gathered all his strength and beefed himself up. Judging by the size alone, the second form still looked a lot stronger than this. But I guess it must be his most powerful form. <sighs> Maybe we'll never fully understand all these transformations. After Goku defeated him, Frieza came back with a cybernetic body. Repairing yourself with mechanical parts. There's some truly incredible technology we have now. Yeah. Until Trunks came in and made cold cuts out of him. Still to know if Whis bringing Frieza back to life was the best idea. After all, he said that he had no intention of turning over a new leaf. At least he had no delusions that what he was doing was evil. If he does anything really bad, we'll just have Goku deal with him again. Whoa! <laughs> it's so shiny, I'm almost blinded by it. Turning golden when you power up. <laughs> it's so much like a Super Saiyan. In other words, it's Frieza's delinquent form. This thing looks very... Unique. This was Dr. Giroux's ultimate android creation. He absorbs the bio extract of humans to make himself stronger. He devoured entire city populations, all for the sake of attaining a transformation. This is Cell after absorbing number 17. Yep, Vegeta fought this freak. Why does he look like that? Even 17 couldn't make him any more human like or any less repulsive. After Cell absorbed 17 and 18, he went on to host his own tournament called the Cell Games. What a strange thing to do. I couldn't believe it when I found out Gohan defeated him when he was just a kid. Goku always pushes things too far. Piccolo was really angry at him. Not only did he survive self-destructing, but he came back even stronger than before. Perfect, perfecter cell? It never ends with this guy. For all the horrible things he did, he deserves to rot in the underworld. Cell created a bunch of miniature copies of himself, but Gohan eradicated all seven of them. Or was it eight? Considering just one of them was strong enough to overpower Vegeta, it's incredible how easily Gohan took them all out. And he's usually so calm and kind-hearted. I can't even picture that. This is Boo, who lives at our house now. All he ever does is eat and sleep, but he's actually super powerful. I know he's tremendously strong, but why wasn't he in the tournament of power again? He ended up training a little too hard, and then he took a nap that he couldn't wake up from in time. <laughs> Oops. This guy was made from all the evil that Boo expelled from himself into a separate being. He's so pale and emaciated. He looks really unhealthy here. That nasty Majin Boo is long gone. To us, now he's just Boo. When the bad Boo absorbed the good Boo, he became even more evil. Piccolo said Boo never tried to hurt my dad, even when he was like this. Yeah, and now they're the best of friends. This is Boo after he absorbed Gotenks and Piccolo. 
How could he do that to my baby boy? He also absorbed their worst personality traits. With how many people he can absorb at once, I don't even want to think about what the inside of Majin Buu's body looks like. He even absorbed my poor Gohan! Actually, I forget. How did he and the others escape from inside of it? Our husbands fused into Vegito, let themselves be absorbed into his body, and then ripped Gohan and the others out of their imprisonment. Rip them out? Okay, now I'm kind of curious, but how the heck would Boo be able to show me what his insides look like? This was Majin Buu's last form when Goku was able to defeat him. He doesn't talk much. Not a thought behind those eyes. He got so tiny all of a sudden. Don't let his size fool you. It took a spirit bomb with energy gathered from everyone on Earth to defeat him. And even then, it was a close call.